now let us discuss the chapter fractions decimals and rational numbers now we come across many situations from our day to day life where we can use the fractions and in your earlier classes we have learnt how to represent the proper fraction improper fraction and mixed fraction and we have also learnt the addition and subtraction of the fractions now in this class we will revise all those topics once again and we will also learn how to multiply and how to divide the fractions and we will also learn the multiplication and division of decimal numbers and also the bigger collection of numbers that is the rational numbers so we will find the equivalent rational numbers and we will also learn how to add and subtract the rational numbers now first what is a proper fraction a proper fraction is a fraction that represents the part of the whole for example if you take a circle now in this half the circle is shaded now out of two equal parts one part is shaded so this can be represented by 1 by 2 now for example there is a square A square has been divided into three equal parts. So out of these three equal parts, one part is shaded. Now this equals to one third, one by three. So this is a proper fraction, and here one by two is also a proper fraction. So proper fraction means it is also it is a fraction that represents the part of the whole. So here the half, and this is one third. Now what is improper fraction now what is improper fraction so improper fraction means if the numerator is greater than or equals to denominator then the fraction is said to be improper fraction for example 5 by 3 or 7 by 4 or 11 by 5 so in all these fractions the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator so then these fractions are said to be improper fraction now what is a mixed fraction now every improper fraction can be written in the form of mixed fraction now first let us see what is a mixed fraction a mixed fraction contains an integral part plus fractional part and this fractional part must be a proper fraction for example if you take the improper fraction 5 by 3 and if you divide 5 by 3 then we get 3 ones are 3 then 2 is a remainder this can be written as 2 by 3 so this 5 by 3 equals to 1 2 by 3 so this improper fraction can also be written in the form of mixed fraction in this mixed fraction here 1d 1 is the integral part and 2 by 3 is the fractional part and this fractional part 2 by 3 is a proper fraction now if you take another improper fraction 7 by 4 so this 7 by 4 equals to if you divide 7 by 4 4 ones are 4 and 7 minus 4 three remainder 3 by 4 so this equals to 1 3 by 4 so this improper fraction 7 by 4 can be written in the form of mixed fraction as 1 3 by 4 so here also 1 is the integral part and 3 by 4 is the fractional part now let us see what are the like fractions and what are unlike fractions now the fractions with equal denominators are said to be like fractions
and for example 7 by 3 5 by 3 so these two are the fractions with equal denominator so these two are said to be like fractions and if you take another example 10 by 13 7 by 13 and 11 by 13 so these fractions also have the same denominator so these fractions are also said to be like fractions and what are unlike fractions now the fractions with different denominators For example, 5 by 8, 3 by 7. So these fractions are the different denominators. So these are said to be unlike fractions. And if you take another example, 10 by 17, 5 by 13. So these fractions are also said to be unlike fractions. So we can add or subtract only the like fractions the addition and subtraction of like fractions is possible so if the given fractions are unlike fractions first you should make them like fractions then we can do addition or subtraction now so far we have discussed what is a proper fraction what is improper fraction and a mixed fraction and we have also seen what is what are the like fractions and what are the unlike fractions now we can add or subtract only the like fractions now let us see the question solve the following 1 minus 4 by 7 so this 1 can be written as 7 by 7 as the denominator of the second fraction is 7 so we write 1 as 7 by 7 minus 4 by 7 now these two fractions are like fractions because they have the same denominators now when the denominators are equal then we can add or subtract the numerators now 7 minus 4 divided by 7 so this equals to 7 minus 4 is 3 divided by 7 which is a proper fraction now the second question 5 by 8 minus 1 by 6 if you observe these two fractions they are not like fractions they are unlike fractions because their denominators are different so first we should make them like fractions so we have to make the denominators equal so for that let us find the LCM of the denominators so 8 comma 6 LCM 2 4s are 8 2 3s are 6 then 2 2s are 2 3 3 will not go then 3 same now LCM as 2 and 3 are prime numbers we can stop here itself now 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 now this equals to 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 8 is a 24 now 5 by 8 into see the denominator 8 3 times 24 so we can write 3 by 3 minus 1 by 6 into 6 4 times 24 so we can write 4 by 4 now this equals to 5 3 are 15 by 24 minus 1 4s are 4 by 6 4s are 24 now these two are like fractions now we can subtract the numerators so 15 minus 4 is 11 divided by 24 now the next question 2 2 by 3 plus 3 1 by 2 so here the two fractions are mixed fractions so first let us convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions for that we multiply 3 2 are 6 plus add 2 then 3 2 are 6 plus 2 8 by 3 plus 2 3 are 6 plus 1 7 by 2 so here also the two fractions are unlike fractions so we should make them like fractions so first find the LCM of 3 and 2 so that is 6 now 8 by 3 into so the denominator 3 2 times 6 so we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2 so 2 by 2 plus 7 by 2 into the denominator 2 3 times 6 so take 3 by 3 now this equals to 8 to the 16 by 3 to the 6 plus 7 3 are 21 by 2 3 are 6 
now this equals to now these two are like fractions so we can add the numerators so 16 plus 21 is 37 by 6 now this is an improper fraction we can convert into the mixed fraction 37 by 6 6 6 are 36 remainder 1 this can be done as 1 by 6 now this equals to 6 1 by 6 now the next question arrange 2 by 5 1 by 3 and 3 by 10 in ascending order to arrange the given fractions either in ascending order or in descending order first they must be the like fractions means their denominators must be equal so then we can arrange them either in ascending order or in the descending order now if you observe the fractions their denominators are not equal so first let us find the lcm of the denominators so 5 3 10 now we can take two table so 5 is not divisible by 2 and 3 is also not divisible by 2 then 2 5 is 10 then again we can take 5 table 5 ones are 3 is not divisible and 5 ones are 5 now lcm of the denominators equals to 2 into 5 into 3 so this equals to 2 5 are 10 10 3 is 30 now we will take the fractions 2 by 5 equals to 2 by 5 into so the denominator 5 6 times 30 so we multiply both numerator and denominator by 6 now this equals to 2 6 or 12 by 5 6 or 30 then let us take the next fraction 1 by 3 equals to 1 by 3 into the denominator 3 10 times 30 so we multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 so 1 tens are 10 by 3 tens are 30 next the third fraction 3 by 10 3 by 10 into the denominator 10 3 times 30 so we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 3 by 3 so this equals to 3 3 is 9 by 10 3 is 30 now if you observe the fractions then they have the same denominator so these are the like fractions now we can arrange them in ascending order or in descending order now the first the smallest fraction is 9 by 30 next one is next largest is 10 by 30 next largest is 12 by 30 so 9 by 30 means 3 by 10 and 10 by 30 means 1 by 3 and 12 by 30 means 2 by 5 so by making the denominators equal means by converting the fractions into like fractions we can arrange the given fractions either in ascending order or in the descending order.